There's a disturbing secret behind this bridal shop mannequin, and it gave me goosebumps. They stand up on a platform draped in eye-catching clothing, striking an impressive pose. But rarely do we look at the mannequins underneath. By design, dummies allow you to stare freely at clothes without any awkwardness. There's no need to worry that the mannequin might stare back. At La Popular Bridal Shop in Chihuahua, Mexico, there's a mannequin that's the star of the show. From the moment she appeared in the windows 90 years before, people knew there was more to her story than assembly in a plastics factory, and her spine-chilling origins are still debated to this day. In 1930, a local bridal shop owner added a new fixture in his display window. Passers-by stopped and stared, trying to process what they were seeing because surely their initial reaction couldn't be correct. No, they thought it was only a mannequin. Granted, she was a beautiful mannequin. With her large, thickly lashed eyes, delicate features, and open expression, the dummy standing vigil in the bridal shop window naturally caught your eyes. There was something else about her, though, that kept people entranced. Examining the features of the stoic mannequin made their customers squirm. She just looked too real to be made only of plastic. Soon, word spread all over town that there was something off about the newest addition to the storefront. The people of Chihuahua couldn't shake the feeling that there was something sinister about the mannequin they called La Pascualita. Her installation in the bridal shop window came on the heels of the owner's personal tragedy. They hoped this was purely coincidental. It all started with a wedding. It was finally time for bridal shop owner Pascuala Esparza to step briefly into the customer's shoes. His lovely daughter was about to marry, wearing an exquisite gown from the family shop, fulfilling a lifelong dream, until fate intervened. On the day of her wedding, Esparza's daughter sustained a spider bite. Instead of primping for her march down the aisle, the bride-to-be fell ill from the venom of a black widow spider. She died before the day was through. When the mourning father propped up the mannequin in the window, stomachs turned at the obvious resemblance it bore to his dearly departed daughter. It was a dark thought that a man would somehow preserve a body and present it for show, yet it wasn't impossible. They say there's no wrong way to grieve, but showcasing the corpse of your loved one in your business is ideally not the way to go. Believers said the girl's broken-hearted mother came up with the idea to keep her child close. Years passed, the store changed hands, and still La Pascalita was still there. Her spooky story had grown into a local legend. People routinely made trips to La Popular Bridal Shop just to check her out for themselves. It was even hotly debated from those on the inside. The aggrieved parents were out of the picture, but the mystery remained. A worker tasked with changing La Pascualita's gowns twice per week saw enough of her body to determine she wasn't your average dummy. Staff member Sonia Burkezia gave her take, saying, Every time I go near Pascualita, my hands break out in a sweat. Her hands are very realistic, and she even has varicose veins on her leg. I believe she's a real person. To catch a glimpse of those eerie veins, you'd have to apply for a job in the shop. The current owner, Mario Gonzalez, ensures that his prized mannequin remains a complete mystery to the public. Her dress is only changed under the cover of black curtains. Some have taken the theory that La Pascualita is a preserved corpse to an even more absurd level by claiming the mannequin moves. Customers have sworn that she's changed positions while their backs were turned or felt her follow them with her eyes. Another legend floating around Chihuahua that La Pascalita was the product of lovesick magician. The story goes that a traveling French magician spotted her figure in the window and pledged his heart to hers. The magician would sneak into the closed shop each night and perform a spell that granted her temporary life. Together they'd slink around the town, dancing and romancing until the wee hours. Then he'd escort her back home to her spot in the window. None of these theories are remotely verifiable. Realists say it's more feasible that La Pascalita's human-like nature is owed to quality craftsmanship. Again, it's not proven, but they say she's a wax dummy, as real as the one at Madame Tussard's. Skeptics have routinely pointed to the Mexican heat as a deal-breaker to La Pascalita's corpse identity. There's no way that a preserved body could survive in such scorchers. They believe, not knowing that Chihuahua's dry climate is an embalmer's dream. 
There's no denying the difficulty in preserving a corpse. Even the most experienced morticians can't stave off decomposition for more than a few weeks. La Pascualita remains as fresh as a daisy. So if she was once human, magic must be at work. In 90 years that she stood in the bridal shop, La Pascualita's fame shifted into reverence. Customers continue to choose their bridal gowns based solely on what the otherworldly bride is modeling that day. People flock to La Popular to buy the gown and pay their respects to the potential spirit-charged mannequin, a practice said to bring good luck to those about to marry. Whether it's legit or all baloney, one thing's for sure, it drives up business. Despite her creepy history, La Pascualita holds a positive place in Mexican culture. There are no accounts of her exacting revenge on disrespectful shoppers or giving the staff prickles of fear.